Hey guys, so today I'm doing a review video on some of the products that I've been recently trying out, testing and uh, I just want to share with you guys my opinion on them because I've been using them for maybe like three weeks now. And so yeah, I've formed an opinion on them and I can tell, tell you guys what I think about them. If you are into organic, your organic products, organic hair care, if you're not, just exit the video because this this is basically a video on organic hair care, so it won't be interesting for you. So I have three products from John Masters Organics, um, which is actually the brand that's known for its hair care. I'm using their face cleanser, body soap, and I thought it's more uh, of a skincare brand, but the ladies in the shop, in Biateca, they told me that no, actually it was created as a hair care brand which really surprised me, but yeah, here you go. They have lots of shampoos and conditioners for all hair types and um, you may be interested in price ranges. I'm gonna tell you that it's a high-end organic brand, so it means that prices are pretty high. It costs the same as Kerastase products. The conditioners and shampoos retail for around 20 euros. So the first thing I have here is their Lavender Rosemary Shampoo for normal hair. I'm not a big fan of organic um, hair products because they, most of the times, the ones that I've tried did nothing to my hair and it's probably because they were like cheap organic products that you know, I didn't see any results with them. This one, and I don't like that they, most of the times they do not foam, they smell horrible. These ones smell very herbally, but it's a very kind of, I don't know, uh, kind of like not a cheap herbal scent, if you know what I mean. And this one actually lathers so nicely because I don't, I personally don't like shampoos that do not lather. I know they're healthier for your hair, but I personally love a good lather. It just feels like I'm really washing my hair. And uh, so it says 70% certified organic ingredients. And ingredients in this one are amazing. It has aloe vera, it has rosemary oil, lavender oil, Willow extract, white tea, chamomile, lots of good ingredients and here's what it looks like up close. And you get 236 milliliters or 8 fluid ounces, which is like a very odd number. And I am in love with this shampoo. I love it more than I expected uh, because as I said, it gives a very nice lather to your hair. It just washes your hair so well, your hair feels like fluffy and refreshed and it doesn't weight your hair down. I would say this shampoo is definitely worth the money if you are into your organic product. It's absolutely amazing for everyday use. It's just for normal hair, but so yeah, I guess anyone could use it. It doesn't dry out my scalp, nor does it make my hair greasy. I love everything about this shampoo. Would highly recommend if you're looking for something more luxurious and more healthy for your hair. Now this one, is uh, John Masters Organic Citrus and Neroli Detangler. So I thought this is a conditioner, but the lady told me that this is actually, it could be used as a leave-in conditioner and as, you know, regular conditioner. I tried using it as a leave-in conditioner and I didn't like it at all because it felt too heavy. It felt like, you know, I have product in my hair that I forgot to wash out. And um, um, this one, is extremely citrusy, well it says citrus and neroli. Would not recommend using it as a leave-in conditioner. Maybe it's my hair, my, I have very thin hair, so it just kind of weights down my hair. So I've been simply using it as a regular conditioner and it makes my hair really silky soft, which again I was so surprised because none of the natural organic hair products ever worked on my hair and this actually makes my hair very soft. While I'm in the shower I take some of it and rub between my palms and um, apply on the ends of my hair, concentrating on the ends of my hair and then leave it in for about two to three minutes and then rinse it out and my hair is super soft. It actually acts as a mask as well so here is the conditioner. If you have thicker hair, maybe it would work as a leave-in conditioner. But for me, it's just too heavy. But I, yeah, I really love both of these products. And the third one I have here is John Masters Organics Dry Hair Nourishment and Defreezer. Um, so basically, it's kind of like this oil that comes with a pipette. You can see it's 
this yellow super thick oil. It has a very very strong herbal scent, kind of, I don't know what it smells like, evening primrose, lavender, yeah it has lots of, I can smell lots of lavender, cedarwood, rosemary, uh, jojoba, olive oil. So it's basically a tiny bottle of lots of really really good oils. You can actually make this by yourself, you don't need to uh, spend a lot of money on it, just buy, you know, jojoba, coconut, olive oil, mix them together and you're gonna have the same oil so I wouldn't say it's worth buying because it's something that you can make by yourself but if you don't have time to buy all of the different oils and mix them together or, or simply cannot be bothered I do recommend buying this um, it's a great alternative if you don't want to use silicone based oils like you know like Herstas oil or uh, L'Oreal oils which actually I probably prefer because they are lighter for my hair and I feel like they give that silky effect. But you know the thing with those um, silicone based oils is that they make your hair feel incredible but it only feels and looks incredible, It doesn't. they don't actually treat your hair. Whereas this oil, it's not something that I would prefer but it's actually very beneficial for your hair because it's all of these natural great oils that actually moisturize your hair and nourish it uh, instead of just making it look shiny and just it doesn't just lay on the surface of, of your hair it just sinks into your hair and really moisturizes all of the dry ends so I would say it's great having something like this again you can make it by yourself as a treatment maybe use it as an overnight treatment you actually don't need a lot of it it says you need I guess three drops yeah it says you use three drops of it I actually use about seven because I have such long hair, I rub it between my palms and apply it on the ends of my hair after washing it. Um, but if you have thin hair like me, this could be very heavy. So yeah, I think I'm gonna um, use it as an overnight treatment, you know, apply it all over my hair and um, braid it and sleep on it and then wash it out. Basically you can use it any way you want and uh, yeah, I would recommend it. It's good, but it's not something I would swear by, you know, I still prefer my silicone based oils. So yeah, these are all of the three John Masters Organics products I've been trying out. This is my honest opinion, I'm not biased or anything. I would highly recommend these two. However, they are very expensive but I would say they're worth the money um, if you really do care for your hair. I guess that's about it. A, a lot of you have been asking for my updated uh, hair care routine, so I will definitely film that. I've been, uh, these are a part of my hair care routine, but I'm also using a bunch of other products. And um, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it was informative and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.